Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the differences between DFA and NFA. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on the three topics that we have, three main topics that we have discussed till now. So in the next tutorials, we'll be going through the conversions so that you'll be having some more clear idea on it. Okay. So DFA versus NFA. Write the full form as the first difference, guys. That's the simple way. So deterministic finite automata, non-deterministic finite automata. So now write the definition for deterministic and non-deterministic. So basically we know the definitions of both the things. So the transition from a single particular to the next state for each input is called as deterministic. So where we'll be having two different states for a single input. That is nothing but the non-deterministic. Okay. So here empty string transitions are not seen in DFA whereas NFA permits the empty string transition that is nothing but epsilon NFA to be clear fine so now let us continue DFA is a subset of NFA yes we have discussed this thing when we are going through NFA whereas we need to convert the NFA to DFA basically conversion is possible and this is the thing which we are going to discuss in the next tutorial guys so don't miss the next tutorial because it's really important. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Fine. So transition function for DFA. This I hope everyone knows that. And transition function for NFA is this. Because here we are having only a single state as an output. Here we will be having multiple outputs. So that is nothing but 2 pa q. Fine. So let us take a small example. Means here single state double state. Fine. And this DFA. If there is a big complex problem, it requires more space guys. Whereas NFA, you will be having many states so that it will be really simple for complex problems and it takes many less space. So accepts when it reaches the final state. So in DFA, we will be having a single possible path or way to go to the output, right? Whereas in NFA, there are many possible ways, more than one ways to reach the final state. Even if it reaches the final state, then also it will be accepted. Fine. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this guys. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the conversion of NFA to DFA. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.